Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another quick video, and in this one I'm going to be going over a quick update on Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Now you guys may be wondering how it is that you can open up this giant special chest which is in the middle of town, and it does require a skeleton key in order to open it. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can get a skeleton key right away. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can basically open up this chest. So in order to open this and get a skeleton key, what you need to do is go into the start menu. You're going to see that there's a couple different tabs here for the roster, matchmaking, and shift. In order to get a skeleton key, there's only one way in order to get a key right now, and that is in to enter in a shift code. If you guys have played other Borderlands titles in the past, or you have probably done this before. So what you're going to do is actually go over to the shift tab. Make sure that you are signed into the online servers. As of the time of making this video, the servers have been going up and down. They have been, you know, pretty much all over the place because the game just came out. And they've been having a little bit of issues. So if you're having trouble going online, that's most likely why the servers have been having a bit of problems. But once the servers are up and running and you're able to access the tab for the shift codes, all you'll have to do is type in this code here and you will automatically be gifted a code. Once this code is entered, it will give you a skeleton key and you'll be able to open the chest as soon as you want. Now this code will expire on March 31st and there will be more codes that come out as time goes on. But for now, this is literally the only code that's available and the only way that you'll be able to get a skeleton key. So as more codes do come out, I will be sure to update you guys. So be sure to subscribe if you're new and want to know about any other codes that end up coming out. Like I said though, the servers have been having issues, so for if for whatever reason it's telling you to go online still and you still can't access it, you will unfortunately have to wait until the servers are all working in order to claim the code as it does take a network connection to actually redeem it. But other than that, that's pretty much it guys. It's how you're going to get your hands on a skeleton key as of right now, and I hope it helps you guys out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.